time for a break, old woman. Yeah. And little dog, what the hell are you doing in here? Are you my helper? He's resting. What the hell? He's no fool. Hey. What you think you're doing? He's huh? He does something What you doing in here? It's hot out there, and I've got the power washer going. Oh, sure. oh she was resting in the truck. I blast, blasted her with the power washer. Oh, no, I blasted her directly. Just swooshed her away. <laughs> okay, break time. Now I'm finished with that. And I'm waiting for it to dry. I might throw a little paint down here and make it look better. Right here where the carpet's been, it looks really good. Kind of a little bond, but... Hey! Got the patio cleaned up a little bit. Still got a mess out here. But, it's enough to make Ramona a little happier. Now I can finish cleaning this stuff up real quick here in a little bit. 10 foot will go from there to the center. And then I was thinking of a little, about a four foot path through here. Four feet. Three, four. Okay, from here. One, two, three, four, five. Sixteen feet oh. from there to here. And uh, even with the back of this building. I would still have some yard. I don't have a whole lot of dog. Breezeway through there. And the shed right here to hold. That. Maybe that. I don't use a plasma cutter much. This big fan, I don't use a whole lot. I'm just running engines. A heat lamp, only for painting and stuff. This bender, of course, it's mounted with anchors, so it might stay in here. Pipe bender. A sandblasting cabinet, which takes up a lot of room. The press could be done in the shed. Uh, uh, drill press. Mm. Comes in handy a lot. I want to tear these kitchen cabinets out because they're a pain in the ass. Put shelves in. And back here will be a area for the drill press. This goes in the shed. Those goes in the shed. Uh, that goes in the shed. This stuff goes in the shed. That edge trimmers, all that goes in the shed. Shop back can go in the shed because I just use it every once in a while. I got the uh, overload springs back in. Okay, the front we're setting that. <laughs> we would measure it and uh, <laughs> this would go. Okay, there's 7 sixteenths inch difference. The front is set in 7 sixteenths of an inch. Lower it in the back. And how much travel we got? Well, the other day, we barely had any. We had a quarter of an inch to the bump stops. And we had two inches to the frame. But today, we got three fingers to the bump stop and a hand between the axle and the frame. These are the ones that I bought that I thought were gonna work. 
this one was gonna go way down low It'd be perfect but it's too big gosh darn it okay I need to work on transmission lines and I need to build the uh, housing for this fill tube tank. finish the fuel tank and work on getting transmission lines while I finish the fuel tank. That's the next step. Right here beside the park brake cable. Yeah, that was not a good idea. And they do that one. Those holes will be welded up. Okay. Transmission lines. Fuel tank, housing, electric wires. And then all we'll have left is the carburetor. The carburetor is uh, needs some really big time cleaning.